Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Um, quick life update. Um, well, I am currently in quarantine right now because of COVID. I am at my mom's house. Um, because my husband was tested positive for COVID. Luckily, I came back negative. But I still have to quarantine from work. Um, I just can't go to work right now and neither can he. So it's kind of, of a sucky situation and he's getting retested tomorrow. Um, I highly believe that he doesn't have it because he hasn't had any symptoms and he feels fine. I think maybe he fought it off already. So I just hope, you know, say prayers over it that he comes back negative. But other than that, besides this whole thing, life is good. Going back to my, to an old job. School is going well. Um, you know, same old stuff. But what I'm going to talk about today is I've been trying to do this video for a long time. And it's just life got in the way and then the COVID mess and all that stuff. But um, basically tell you um, for a lot of the women out there, um, and this could relate to men too, but I just think it more relates to women. But basically how you know when he's the one. And basically my story of how I knew my husband was the one. Uh, because it can be hard. And especially someone like me who has been hurt so many times the relationships been cheated on and um just been hurt um i lost my trust in men for a long time and i um highly doubt i would ever find anybody for me again and i was just set on being alone and i was getting comfortable with that and god just intervened like right at the perfect time um for me and i'm grateful for that and grateful that he brought us together um but basically First, first thing I'm going to say is pray for your future spouse. I did it many times. So many people I know do it. It's something that Christians highly encourage you to do, to pray for your future spouse, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. And I think it's important to pray for your future spouse because if you pray, then God will give you that spouse that you're looking for. Um, like me, I did that all the time, and I prayed that he would have the stuff that I wanted in my husband, and that's what God brought me. So if you do that, God will bring you that person who is the one that you're looking for and um and that will and you will know um and you will know that it's from God there you can easily tell and I knew that my husband was from God because he had all the qualities that I was looking for that I wanted in a guy and not only that but I did pray after I met him I said to God I don't know if he's the one you have for me but if he is tell me and God told me straight up, do not let him go. And I knew right there that he was the one that God was saving for me. And he will do that for you too. He will acknowledge that for you too if you're not sure. He will tell you if he's the right one for you or not. Um, so that's the first thing is pray for your spouse. Second thing, if you are a believer in Christ, 100% Christian like I am, and you want a Christian spouse, a Christian man, then that's the, that's the kind of man you have to look for. If that's important to you, don't settle for any guy. Don't do a guy that's lukewarm. Don't do a guy that is not with Christ, that is not saved, because that's just going to end in disaster. The marriage is not going to, excuse me, the marriage is not going to work. It's not going to last. So do not be with someone that's unequally yoked. The Bible says that clearly unequally yoked which means do not look for a man who is does not have the same christian beliefs as you do because then the marriage is not going to work if that my number one thing for me was to find a man who was a christian and my husband is a christian um and he had you know he had always believed in christ and he was he had backslid when i first met him but now he's a hundred percent christian and that was the number one thing that i wanted so if that is someone that's you then do not just settle for any any man settle for that good solid christian man because that is the most important thing and if you don't have that your marriage is not going to work and it's going to hurt your marriage that's the second thing third thing is make sure that he is a man that is going to honor and respect your beliefs um, I did have done previous videos about this, about me being a virgin until my wedding night. And that was my promise to God that I was not going to break. 
because I because sex outside of marriage is a sin. The Bible talks very clearly about it, about fornication. And um, so I knew that doing that was not good. And it was going to hurt my faith with Christ. Um, so my husband honored that. He honored my decision to wait until marriage to have sex. And he he admired it. He thought it was a great thing. He wasn't a virgin, unfortunately, which is fine, you know, because he had backslid. But I, ne I never judged him for that, and you shouldn't judge them for their past. Everybody sins, and he, God forgave him, he repented, and never did it again until he was married. Um, that was the one thing that made me fall in love with him and knew he was the one, because he, he was the first guy in my life that I met who loved that about me, who didn't try to pressure me to, into having sex, into anything he didn't want to do. He, um... You know, he didn't even touch, wasn't even that physical with me that much for a while. And, you know, so, te so I, I, you know, I was never tempted. I didn't have those feelings of temptation because he didn't push me like that. He didn't um, push me to do something I didn't want to do. He respected my belief to stay pure until marriage. And that's how I knew it was going to work. And he was the one because, um, and that's the kind of man you should have. Um, if you're, if, if he's a Christian guy, then... That usually won't be a problem, but it's not always the case because they can say they're a Christian and they're not. They can say they're a Christian to be a false Christian and be sleeping with someone outside of marriage. So you do have to be careful for that and watch out for that and make sure it's legit when he says he's waiting till marriage. And make sure he's not going to press you into have sex, not going to press you and force you to do something you don't want to do. Because that's, and that's, cause that's not what it's all about. It's not just about um sex it's about so many other things too and if you can't honor and respect your beliefs and your decision to do that then he is not worth it and so don't pursue him any further because us as women deserve to be treated with respect we deserve to be treated like a princess like a queen we're a masterpiece we're beautiful god's creation and we're, we're not supposed to be treated like sex slaves and supposed to be um, showing off our bodies and be promiscuous in that way, because that's not what that's not what our purpose is. And men need to honor that and know that that's not what it's all about. And so I think that's very important for me to address because it's a very common problem with women today, and they feel like um, that's the only thing that will make a man happy is by sleeping with them when it's not. That's just not a true man of God, and it's just not. He's just not a man at all, to be honest, and doesn't even deserve you. Because you deserve to be treated the very best way and to be honored by your decision, your belief. Don't ever be pressured to have sex before marriage if you don't want to, especially if you're a Christian. If he's going to do that, let him go right away. He's not the one that God has for you and that's not where God wants you to be. That's just going to hurt your faith and make you and get yourself in trouble. So I feel like that's very important. Probably the most important thing that I'm going to say out of this whole video. So, basically, how I knew he was the one. Number one, he was a Christian. Number two, um, I prayed about him. Number three, he honored and respected my beliefs to be a virgin until marriage. And the final thing, number four that I'm going to say, how I knew he was the one, what I think is important too, is that he just constantly, always, always totally told me just how beautiful I was, just how perfect my body was, just how much, um, he just really, really made me feel good about myself, really made me love myself, and I was a person who always struggled with self-esteem, with confidence, I'd, um, you know, once I, I'd never, for the longest time, I did not like my body and how I looked, especially because I am a lot bigger than when I was a kid, um, and I just, just hated that about me and um you know I would always wish that I was skinnier and had a better body and a long time I didn't think I was beautiful and um I always felt ugly I always felt I had to you know look a certain way and I also didn't have good confidence in myself good self-esteem and my husband changed that he um for the very first time in a long time I loved myself for how I looked I didn't care what anyone else thinks thought and um I have the confidence today that I never thought I would have because of him I have a better self-esteem and um and it's because of him regardless of how I looked if I was a hot mess with messy hair with no makeup on with he just always 
always would tell me how beautiful I was, how amazing I was, how much I loved my body, and just, um, that really means a lot, especially to a woman who has been picked on for how she looks and everything a lot, and I was never popular with, popular growing up, I was never popular with guys, guys didn't talk to me, um, you know, and that was one of the reasons why, because of how I looked, and I never thought I would have a man that actually did that, that just, um, loved so much, just loved everything about me, and not, you know, not just the physical stuff, but who I was as a person, my personality, and, you know, told me I didn't have to change anything about myself, and I think that was a great thing, because I never had that, and that meant a lot to me, and, um, it still does, and he still does it to this day, <laughs> and I love that about him, and not just that, he's also very protective over me, you know, anyone ever tried to hurt me, he would, he would probably maybe kill them, <laughs> um, you know, and he puts me first regardless, I mean, you should put your spouse first after God, and, um, so I think that's, that's another thing that helped me, I knew he was the one just by that, and women out there, you deserve to have a man treat you like that, to treat you like a princess, to tell you how beautiful you are, you know, to tell you that you don't need to show off your body to them to be beautiful, that you don't have to change a thing about you. That's the kind of man you want. And don't ever settle for less because you're worth so much more. So, um, and that's just, those four things are just what did it for me. And I knew maybe after like six months of dating that he was it. And, I, you know, and for you ladies out there, I want the same thing for you. So just think about these four things that I said really think about it because it's so important especially if you're a christian woman trying to live that christian life it's hard it can be hard and a lot of you know people think well they're so hard to find a christian man but they are out there i can tell you they are i've seen it proven so many times you just have to be patient trust god and trust his plan pray about it and trust that he will bring you that good christian man at the right time because they are out there so don't give up hope on that and while you're waiting for that man, enjoy your life as single life because being single is a blessing. Um, embrace your faith and don't rush it. Don't make the mistakes. Be smart about it. Think of these things I told you about and that will help you know if he's the one that you're supposed to be with. And just always remember that. Um, don't ever settle for what you're, for more than for less than what you're worth. Because you are worth everything and you deserve to be treated like everybody else, to be treated the best. And um, for a man to treat you like that, and if you can't see that, then he's not worth it. So, I really hope that this video is encouraging to you guys and it helps you guys out. Because that's what I want. I wanted to help for women out there struggling with this decision. I want to be able to be an inspiration to them and help them in a way. So I hope this helps and spread this to other women out there. Um, share this video, comment, like, subscribe. It really means a lot to me if you do that and subscribe to my channel. And if there's something you're wondering about, have a question about something, or just let me know and I can tell you, I can make a video about it. And it means a lot to me, to the ones that are out there subscribing to my channel. So thanks for watching guys. And God bless.